Later on we have Daedalus playing, yeah, but right now, let's have some applause for Peter Kern. There you go. the bat I see you using two separate machines. I suspect one's for doing video and the other one's for... One's the, the PC's doing video. The, the... Oh, yeah. yeah, the PC is doing video and the Mac is doing sound. And this is sort of an experimental setup because usually it's it's been, the, if anything, it's been the reverse or one or the other. So it's kind of new trying to do both at once. So yeah, Ableton for, for music and Resolum for, for video, among other things. My chronic tendency to switch tools sometimes means that some sets are more experimental than others. <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, but yeah. There's also like kind of a, seemed like a little rhythmic stuttering going on with uh, you'd play a line and then it would kind of like a burp, burp, burp kind of thing. And yeah, I have no idea you, how that's created. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you. No, it's, 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 uh, I, it's a combination of um, beat repeat, the thing that's in Ableton, and then Chris Randall's um, uh, what's it called? Oh, I must have jet lag. If I can't remember the name of plugins, I've been blogging for 48 hours. Uh, it's the um, 
What's his thing called? Super Trigger? No, no, the Chris Randall's okay. plugin. That's kind of like beat repeat, but it's not. Mm, it's not warp, yeah, yeah, audio warp cut? Well, anyway, there's an audio damage makes a plugin that's okay. that's very much like beat repeat that does the things that he felt like beat repeat wasn't doing. Um, so you mentioned the continuous blogging thing for the people that don't know. Uh, tell us about your website, createdigitalmusic.com. Um, well, it's a it's a site that sort of tracks the evolution of music technology, everything from commercial products to what people are doing on their own, what people like Donald are, are doing, and circuit bending and Game Boy music and building alternative controllers and building giant 3D environments for sound and all that stuff too, along with stuff from Native Instruments and Ableton and Apple and all those guys. Yeah, it's an excellent website. We've used it here at the shop as a reference point many times. <laughs> like someone will call on the phone. What MIDI keyboard controllers work with Windows Vista? And I'll be like, ah, oh, let me get that for you. <laughs> so you going, you're going to the Maker Fair tomorrow? Yeah, Maker Fair all weekend. And I have seen that there's a huge amount of music stuff, music and sound yeah. stuff. And we're all clustered together. So if you guys are free, either tomorrow or Sunday, you should come, come see what people are doing, building all kinds of crazy things. Um, I'll show using barcode scanners for the musical input, which is probably what I'll play. As they tomorrow. should be. Yeah, um, and just just incredible uh, stuff. And then all of us, if you haven't heard it enough times, uh, Edinburgh Castle tomorrow.